So the end grain chopping board for me is, um, I, I mean, it's a fantastic, <laughs> amazing bit of kit. The way that it performs, the way that it's been produced and worked, watching, watching how it got put together. I mean, the skill set and the way that it was set to, to make it look like, not only like a checkerboard, but each one is placed in the right place by vision, by again, by somebody who is an artisan, someone who is producing something to not only visually look beautiful, but also perform. So the strength, the rigidity in the actual chopping board itself, the way that it works, the way that it closes up from a knife cut, the way that it stays there is a wonderfully firm, incredibly strong chopping board. It is, one, it looks beautiful but two, it works, and it works so, so well. The strength in it is absolutely incredible. As opposed to just one piece of wood, this end grain chopping board is the real deal. Brand new, they look absolutely stunning. They're a wonderful thing to look at, but a bit like the knives, the more you use them, the more they get worn down, the more they get shaped, the more that you chop on them, the more it becomes alive and an integral part of your kitchen. You get used to different areas of the board where you like to chop garlic or a different place where you'll chop chives or somewhere else where you'll portion a piece of meat. And that board becomes, it organically grows into being part of your psyche, the way that you cook and the way that you operate in your kitchen. Again, strength in the way that it's built, but also in longevity. And that's really important. This end grain chopping board can be a part of your kitchen life forever. So this is a purpose-built cheese board or serving platter, but it's a nice thick block, but it has a smooth tapered edge and smooth tapered end so you can get your fingers up, lift it, move it about with absolutely no problem at all. And it, and it adds to the shape, it adds to the dynamic of the way that things are, the way that the board actually works. It visually absolutely stunning, but also incredibly practical, easy to pick up and put down. Rolling pins in a professional kitchen are actually more often than not plastic and they're heavy weighted plastic or they're plastic that is around a, a metal weight. But then when it comes to using a wooden rolling pin, more often than not, they're made with cheaper, light wood. Visually, they look absolutely beautiful, but then you still don't get that sense of purpose, that, that, that kind of that drive for making pastry work. Instead of overworking pastry because the rolling pin is too light and you're having to roll it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, you need that weight to be able to roll it in one smooth motion. And that ability to have that weight behind the rolling pin so that you lose it in one or two movements to get that strength behind making your pastry work, it improves the way that you cook. The structure of it is absolutely fantastic. So it covers all bases, looks lovely, but it works, it does the job. You haven't got to be messing about doing loads of the pastry. You drive it in one way, it will drive that pastry in that direction. It's also great for, because of the weight behind it, it's brilliant for tenderizing meat.